Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori. If you're new here, if you're not new here, welcome back. Um, and this lighting is just totally washing me out. It's super bright outside and my room is white, so it just sort of reflects everything. Anyway, this video is as much for me as it is for you guys. Um, I am going to Greece and Italy for two and a half to three weeks. Um, and I haven't really thought about packing yet. And so I thought I would make a video showing you how I pack for a longer kind of trip. Very, very condensed because your girl is on a budget. Um, and so if you travel a lot, you know that it's always extra to even pay for a check-in, or it's always extra to pay for a check-in bag. Um, but now it can even be extra to pay for a carry-on. And so I always try to travel on a personal item, which is a laptop case, a backpack, a purse, something like that. I usually travel with this one because it fits a lot in here, um, but it also is very, like it's not, it doesn't look like a huge backpack, so they never really call me on it. Um, and I've traveled at least like 10 flights and trips with this as a personal item. Um, so I've gotten really used to it and I don't know how to pack with it. Um, it's my best friend right here. We've, we've gone through a lot together. But anyway, I'm packing a full wardrobe because I want to look cute in Greece and Italy. Um, but it's also got to fit in here. So I'm going to be sharing with you uh, what I'm packing, how I'm packing it, so that hopefully it will help you with your summer travels or whatever it is you're doing. Or if you just want to see me pack clothes and try them on. Um, that's cool too. So if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I know you haven't seen this video yet, so you don't know if you like it, but you can also give it a thumbs up if you want to, or wait till the end, whatever you're more comfortable with. But anyway, let's get started. Classic white Adidas, basic pair of white sneakers that will match with everything. And I still need to get a comfortable pair of sandals that I will probably be wearing most of the time, um, but I haven't found any yet. I want something that's comfortable for walking, but it's also like stylish. It's not gonna ruin my outfits. So I have to do some investigating. I wanna get like a nice pair of Tevas, like the kind of thinner one, but I haven't found them here in the Netherlands. So we'll see. So anyway, four dresses, my first and favorite one. Well, actually I'm wearing one right now, which I'll show you, but my first and favorite one is this. So it's just sort of a blue, the pattern's probably gonna make it kind of hard to see, but it's just a flowy floral um, knee length, and I'll try these on so you'll probably see me wearing these as I talk. I like that it's a little bit looser so that you just have that comfortability and it's also really thin, and the drawstring just kind of cinches it at the waist without sort of like being tight around your stomach, your entire stomach, um, so I just think it's really flattering. The sun's coming out even more, that's great. So the next up is this little sort of, um, it's kind of long, it could, I could pull it off as a dress if I'm at the beach and walking around, or I could tie it so I wear it as a shirt and then with like a nice pair of pants or something. And it's really flexible, it can be a shirt, it can be a dress, it can be whatever I want it to be. Um, and it's just pretty, you know? It's flowy, yeah. So the next one, and you'll see, see what I mean with the colors, I'm so, Basic. I like browns and greens, and that's about it. <laughs> um, but anyway, I love this dress. I'm a little worried about how thick it is. It's a little bit on the thicker side, um, but I'm hoping that because it's short sleeve and it's short, that won't be too much of an issue. Um, I could also wear it at night if it's too hot during the day, but it's just a really nice sort of summery, short sleeve, fun little dress. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, but it's really cute. So yeah. All right, that is it for dresses and one pieces. So moving along to outfits. And this is my favorite part because this is where you can really condense a lot of things and mix and match and make it work. First top, um, or first couple tops, I'll probably show you these together. Just a basic little um, strapless, strapless top. This one's in olive green. And this one is in light pink, it's upside down, and it's dirty, I gotta wash that. Um, this one's light pink, and these are so great because you don't have to wear a bra, they go with everything, they're really comfortable, they're not, they don't make you super hot because anything for me that like goes under my armpits, I sweat a lot there if there's something, sort of, if there's friction, and so I don't like anything touching my armpits. Um, PMI, sorry. But anyway, these two little top tops, <laughs> top tops, these two little Tops are great because you can wear them with anything. You don't need a bra and they're cute. Um, 
Along the same lines, this is basically the same idea, but this one has tiny little spaghetti straps also. It's also inside out, but when I wear it, you'll see it. Um, and this is just great because, again, no bra necessary, really cute. Doesn't These don't take up any space. It's like a pair of socks, so it's great. Um, this is probably my favorite of all of my little tops um, because the halter is really nice and it just looks really cute. I always feel like my shoulders look like nice and muscular, but... Um, Maybe that's just in my head. <laughs> anyway, this one, I also like the color of it. It's just, again, earth tone, but it's like earth tone with a little color. And then this one, and I know this is the same color as my um, uh, the other top that I showed, but I like that this one has straps and I like that it's a deep V because I feel like that'll look really good with bathing suits. If I'm wearing a bathing suit, the only problem is this one is not good without a bra. Again, thoughts and opinions, help me decide, leave them down below. So all those tops are really easy to mix and match with the right bottoms. And so for the bottoms, we have your classic jean shorts. These ones are nice because they're like a nice little high waist. So all of those shirts were pretty short. They're like crop tops. So these shorts are perfect to wear with them because they cover, cover the belly, keep everything nice and tucked in. And they're just casual and comfortable. Um, and I can, I can move around and do things in them and they match with everything. Um, these shorts are just really thin and airy and comfortable, but they're really cute. I see myself wearing these on the beach a lot. When I'm wet, I'll probably want to wear them when I'm just kind of like lounging, you know? Um, yep. And then these shorts, which I don't know if I'll bring yet. I probably will, but they're just some khaki shorts and I like these too because they kind of go up a nice amount. I'm just going to readjust that. They go up a nice amount, um, so I feel... Nice, nice and protected and tucked in. Um, but they also take up a lot of space, so I don't know if I'll bring them. And these white pants. You know what they say about girls in white pants? <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, I'm a little scared to travel with these. May or may not happen. I really want it to because they look so cute with all of those tops I showed. Um, and they can be dressy or they could be not dressy. You can really kind of work with them, but it's always hard to wear white, um, especially when you're traveling. Okay, so that is it for, oh no, I lied. So last top, and this is for, I plan if it's a little bit of a chillier night, um, it's just this sort of V crossover um, shirt that is also pretty short. So gotta wear it with something a little bit high-waisted, but yeah. So moving along to bathing suits, which is one of my favorite categories. And I didn't get a single new bathing suit this year, so I am feeling pretty proud. Um, first bathing suit is just this olive one. If you haven't noticed, I really like green. It's your basic sort of um, triangle bikini top. I like it because it has, the straps are like this, so it like ties in the back, so it's still like adjustable. But it's also like, I, I have the support of like a bra, it's like has those little, I'm not trying to sell stuff, what am I doing? Um, I like this bathing suit and I'm packing it. <coughs> Next one, everyone needs a little red bikini. Um, so it's just, and all of these bottoms, I like all these bathing suits, I can kind of like mix and match the tops and the bottoms um, or wear them together. By the way, the bottoms for the other one, just your cheeky little, cheeky little bottoms. Everything I wear is cheeky because I'm a cheeky gal. A red little bikini. You'll see me wearing this. Um, I like this one because it's like a little tie in the front. So it's, you know, like, untie me. Probably won't be like that, but it's still, I feel sexy in it. So that's all that matters. And then um, this sort of strapless one that might be upside down. I don't know. Again, I hate white because as you can see, it's already a little dirty along the top. Um, but I like to have some variation for tan lines. So got the triangle top, we got the tie top, and we got strapless. So I feel like between those three, I can't get any hard one tan line, but we'll see. Um, and I like this one too, because it has an adjustable back. You kind of just tie it down there. Um, and the bottoms for that are drying because I just washed them. Um, but they're the same print as this, so they actually go really well with either of these two. Oops. Because as you can see, they're all the same palette. 
So that's also why I chose these three because they're all interchangeable. And I'm deciding between these two one pieces. This one I think is just more classic and beautiful and just I love this bathing suit so, so much. Um, but I also really like how this one fits and it's just a little bit more basic so it's more comfortable in that sense. I'm not as stressed when I'm wearing it because I'm not like, I don't, I'm not trying to preserve it. Whereas I want this thing to last my whole life. So whenever I'm wearing this, I'm like, don't do anything that will ruin it. Um, whereas I can kind of chill more in this one. And it has a really flattering sort of straight across neckline. Um, the color is fun. So yeah, which of those two? Leave your comments down below. I, pr I don't want to bring both because I know I won't wear both a lot. It's more for probably night swimming because I don't want to cover my stomach during the day. Because I'm trying to get an even tan. I'll be wearing SPF 50 the whole time though. But when that fails, which it usually does, I know I'm going to get a little color and I just want it to be even. So, yep. Um, I already showed you the sneakers. We already talked about sandals. Um... You don't need to see my underwear and my socks. And I also wear very minimal makeup, so that's easy to pack and doesn't take up a lot of space. Toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, face wash. Hello, future me popping in here. I was just editing and I realized I totally forgot to mention that most of the stuff is secondhand or thrifted. Um, I think like 80% of it or so. So that's why I'm not providing links or telling you where I got things. Um, a couple of things are new because I didn't have access to ethical or sustainable clothing that was affordable um, or just a good thrift store, but I do try to avoid fast fashion as much as possible um, just because I disagree with the ethics and sustainability of it. Um, so yeah. All right. Back to the video. Hair had to come down because I was getting a headache and I just filmed all that like trying on stuff. Um, so now everything's a total mess, um, but we're going to move into the portion where I show you how to make it fit. And my number one tip for this is gypsy rolling. So, so especially for those little shirts and stuff I showed you, those are really easy to um, gypsy roll. And if you don't know what gypsy rolling is, it's basically just um, where you kind of, I'll show you with this bathing suit. Um, so you just want to fold it as narrowly sort of as possible. So I just fold it in half like this. And then you're just gonna roll it like that. And so it kind of just turns into this little a little burrito roll and that makes it super easy to like condense things and pack them so that you can fit more into less space um so i do this with all of my shirts and stuff pants are a little harder pants usually like to fold flat also so they don't get creased um but by doing this you can fit a lot more into the bag um and then if you are packing shoes stuffing these in the shoes and stuff is a great safe space but i'm not packing shoes <clears throat> so anyway i'm going to show you how i fold a couple of those and then we can get it all back in the bag So there you have it. Everything that is gypsy rolled has been gypsy rolled. Um, the shorts I like to fold flat, sort of like that, because they're all similar lengths, so I find that it's easy to condense them that way. And then the dresses, glasses, and pants I've also folded in a similar way. So I'll basically put these, I also decided not to bring this. Um, so I'll put those flat things along the, and I'll wear these on the flight, um, along the, if I can, along the base of the backpack, um, because they are flat and that way they also don't get creased. Um, like so, whoops. And so those will go there. those on top and I put all of the um, tops of the pants up here because they're a little bit thicker and so I'm gonna put all of these little rolls at the bottom and so I feel like that will create some balance between thickness. So now I'm just gonna tuck these all into the bottom of the bag. So just so you see where we're at so far, <laughs> doing pretty well. All right, so that is all my clothes. And in there is, I'll have to count how many outfits that ended up being, but it's a lot of stuff. And I still have room for all of my toiletries, all of my um, sort of bathroom stuff, my underwear, my socks, and yeah, basically everything. Um, and I also will probably be a towel, which will also fit in here. It's that towel there hanging in mine. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. So that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful or helpful in some way. Um, and got some good ideas of what to pack or how to pack um, for your trip or wherever you're going. Um, let me know where you're going also down below. Also, if you have any recommendations, for Italy and Greece, which I know are very large, but I'm gonna be in the south of Italy, in Sicily region, and Greece, I'll mostly be probably in um, Athens and Milos, but it is to be determined. But all in all, that was this many outfits because I haven't counted the number yet. 
um, but I will put it somewhere on the screen. Also, let me know your recommendations down below. Well, one for my trip and two for what I should get rid of. A wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. I'm just cleaning everything up and then I realized that I totally forgot to plug my Instagram account. So if you want to see any of these outfits in action in Italy, in Greece, and wherever else I wear them, be sure to follow me on Instagram. My handle is at vtaurus with two s's, 23. So I'll see you there.